हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रेप होप यू गाइस आर फाइन सो आई एम रिचा गुप्ता देयर विद यू टुडे फॉर द टॉपिक स्क्रीनिंग सो नाउ व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट स्क्रीनिंग बेसिकली यू हैव अ प्री कांसेप्ट इन योर माइंड दैट स्क्रीनिंग इज फॉर द रिमूवल ऑफ हेवियर सस्पेंडेड सॉलिड्स सो व्हेनेवर यू वांट द रिमूवल ऑफ हेवियर सस्पेंडेड सॉलिड्स यू गो फॉर स्क्रीनिंग कूल secondly thing which comes into your mind is screening is done for the removal of large floating matter be it trees be it plants debris animals or etc etc question comes if we don't do screening if we don't remove this heavier particles let them uh, pass to the upcoming treatment units after this what will happen obviously the load the burden will definitely increase coming up next coming up next is how do you do the screening screening is right a process a process of removal of heavier suspended solids but how does this screening takes place that is the next question for sure so coming up next that generally you would have seen floating matters are there and with the help of screening the floating matters are eventually removed Now next comes the question. Next comes the question that when you are talking for the removal of heavier suspended solids, so are there a bifurcation of different type of screens, or is there only a single screen which is available? So let me tell you. If you talk about raw water, or if you talk about waste water. in both the things you will see screens are there so if you go for the treatment of raw water that is that water which is supplied from the source to the community that is raw water there also screen is has to be there screens are placed eventually that waste water which has to go again to the source through various mechanisms there also generally you see screens that means screens are very much important now comes the questions that is there no bifurcation of course there is a bifurcation if you talk about raw water there are two types of screens coarse screen and fine screen if you talk about waste water there are three type of screens coarse screen medium screen and fine screen now let's focus on that coarse screen so when you talk about coarse screen so generally you see here in the image that basically the bars are there. these bars have individual bars have a die of around 20 to 25 mm and the spacing varies from 25 mm to 100 mm now comes the question that if you see it you are carefully you will see these bars are actually not placed vertical in general they are placed at an inclination if you are not able to visualize it here i have an another diagram here what i am doing i am taking a section of it section means like if this is a pen i cut it so i will be able to see a particular section of it like here in the first image of the section you are able to see one bar and other bars are placed inside the screen so this is the section so here you can clearly visualize that bar is placed at its inclination okay and now what is the inclination generally it varies from 30 degree to 60 degree 3 to 6 um, basically a 30 degree to 60 degree you can take now coming up to next is basically these bars when you talk about here why are they placed at an inclination we want a justification for that so let's have a proper engineering justification for it so here you can see i'll take white color that will be better so here you can see this screen is there okay this is placed at an inclination if i could have placed it vertically so what are the difference i'll observe let us suppose this vertical area uh, i'll take it as this is perpendicular this is hypotenuse area corresponding to it is at and area corresponding to it is ag this is my nomenclature you can take anything whichever you find good for you this is the angle theta now if i take sin theta this is perpendicular upon hypotenuse so p by h if i multiply by the length side the screen which you can see so here this will be at by h eventually you also know that hypotenuse is greater than perpendicular always 
So eventually you also know that the gross area will be greater than total area. So you will say that what happens if gross area is greater than total area? Is there an issue? No, it is a good point. Why? See, because if the gross area is more, more area is available for the heavier suspended solids or large floating matter to accumulate. And that is the reason they are generally placed. Screens are generally placed. I am not saying always, every time. But they are generally placed at an inclination. Okay. So, this you should know. Coming up next, that fine. Thus, we got that larger area is available. What about the velocity? Do they have a same velocity? Do they have different velocity? So, let's talk about it. So when you talk about core screen, basically you have two velocities. What are those two velocities? One is velocity of approach. The second is velocity through the screen. Okay. So when you talk about V, so this V is the velocity through the screen. Through the screen. And when you talk about U, U is the velocity above the screen or you can call it as velocity of approach. Because this is a velocity with which, velocity of what? Velocity of water with which it is approaching towards the screen. Now, if I ask you generally, U is greater or V is greater? You will be like, without knowing the concept, you will say U is greater. No. Why? You know, discharge is constant. We are not increasing or decreasing the discharge. We are providing the same amount of discharge. So, what will happen here? What will happen here? Discharge is constant. Correct? So, initially, when the velocity of approach or velocity above the screen was there, the area was available was complete. Complete this area was available. This is the area which was available. So, area was more. So, velocity has to be less. The moment it has passed through the perforation. So, here perforations are there with which water has passed. So, now the net area has decreased. So, obviously, if area is decreased, the velocity has to be more so that the discharge comes out to be constant. So, here V is greater than Q. So, velocity through the screen will be greater than velocity of approach. Now, talking about is there some sort of head loss and all? Yes, head loss is there. Now, you will be like, well, what is this head loss? So, let me tell you. When the water was moving, see, Whenever there is a relative motion between two things, friction always comes into action. When, when the water was moving, screen was not letting water to move. So, actually it was offering friction. It was offering resistance. Because of that, water has to lose some amount of its energy. Eventually, over the time, over the time, what you will see, that suspended solids, heavier solids also get accumulated here. So, now the screen along with that solids will offer resistance to that of water. And if they are offering resistance, water has to lose energy. And if water is losing energy, we will call it as head loss. Because head is energy per unit weight. So, I will tell you at the last how to calculate head loss, not to worry about it. Next coming further, as I already told you, uh, velocity through the screens and all and if you want to know u is depending upon the cross section area of the channel as you know okay so all these things i have already told you okay area okay next coming further if you want to see the cross sectional area you can see the screens are there at an inclination and here how the water moves okay just for your simplicity of the analysis now coming to fine screen Four screens picture, everything I have told you. Now coming to fine screen. So you can see here, these fine screens are there. Here the size is very less, 1.5 mm to 3 mm. So generally when I ask to students, which is good, four screen or fine screens, everybody is like fine screen, fine screens. And when I ask them the reason for it, so ma'am, even the minute impurities are trapped. If you are comparing it with core screen, so if I uh, just have a look at core screen image again, if you compare it with core screen, okay, and now look at fine screen again. 
So what you will see that in the case of fine screen, the minute particles can get also trapped. So here, fine screens are good. But you know what? If these fine screens, you can see that even the minute impurities are trapped. Frequent clogging is required. Sorry, frequent clogging is there. And because of that, frequent cleaning is required. So both the things are frequent, frequent. Clogging will take place. The voids which you can see, the empty spaces which you can see in the screens. Uh, let me highlight it. So these are the minor. These voids will have particles in it. Because of that, clogging will take place. And if clogging will take place, you have to do the cleaning as well. So that is the reason frequent clogging. Because of that, frequent cleaning is being required. Next, coming further, that means uh, fine screens are not good. See, I am not saying whether it's good or bad. Of course, if it is there, it has some purpose. But if you talk about when you are treating MLDs, million liters of water, generally we don't recommend fine screens. But you are like, ma'am, because of cleaning, you are not using fine screens. No, it's not like that. What happens is, you will say, ma'am, what about the fine suspended solids? You only focused on heavier, large suspended solids. But what about the fine suspended solids? So let me tell you, we have upcoming other treatment units. You have uh, coagulation-aided sedimentation. You have filtration. So you don't have to worry. Okay? But we can't invest a lot of money, labor in the initial phase of cleaning. So generally, we avoid fine screens. Okay? This you should know. Next, if we talk about the head loss, head loss was something which was remaining. So let's talk about the head loss. So uh, if I talk about head loss, okay, here, generally I'll just mention the head loss also. So if you talk uh, regarding the head loss, what you will see it here, that head loss is given by the formula. Generally, you might be already knowing it also. And if you're not knowing it, uh, this is a basic formula which utilizes V and U. So let me take to that slide only. Okay. So that I can tell you <laughs> V and U. The head loss is given by K by 2G V square minus U square. Now, if you talk about K is a constant which will depend upon the material of the screen, G is acceleration due to gravity and K upon 2G, if you talk about, if it is not mentioned to you in the question, it is 0 0.0729. This value, if it is not mentioned to you in the question, you have to take this. So, this is the something and generally, uh, head loss will take place. So, you say, ma'am, is it possible that no head loss takes place? Generally, when I already, already told you, whenever there is a relative motion between two things, obviously, what comes into action? Friction comes into action. So, there will be head loss. Uh, but if the head loss increases, you have to clean it. You have to clean the screens because we cannot allow a larger, generally, 50% or even lesser, we go for cleaning. Why? Because we don't want that these suspended solids should be retained and we get a, a more head loss will be there and we get a lesser efficiency. Okay, so you can see it in the diagram that how through the help of screens, we are able to remove, you can see cycle and whatnot. And I don't have to tell you what all things you see it in the reverse. You, better, you are better aware of it. Okay, so this is the process by which Heavier suspended solids and here also you can see, you can see it in the diagram that these are placed at an inclination. Screens are placed at an inclination. You can see in this diagram. Okay. So, this is the reason because larger area is available so that, so that more and more suspended solids can be removed in a lesser time. Okay. So, I guess this video was very much useful for you guys. You practically visualize what is screening and what is its worth. And if you are not praising it, obviously, for the aeration or if you are going in wastewater grid chamber and all, you have to. You have to do what? You have to spend a lot more money. Okay. And a labor too. So, that's all for today, guys. For more such videos, you can subscribe to Baidu's exam prep. And let me tell you, you had treatment of water screening, uh, suspended solids, you already discussed. And after this, we'll be having sedimentation also. And then a question practice session. Okay. So, stay tuned with me, guys, for any queries. You can join my Telegram group. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye and study hard.